Hello, this is Dylan Hartman from Durango Silver Company, and I'm here today to talk to you about Desert Bloom Verisite, one of my very favorite stones that's come out recently. So the uh, Desert Bloom Verisite was found in 2016 by Rodney Frisbee and Alan Chambers. And the claim is a new claim. It's not something that was uh, reclaimed and renamed. It's actually a new find. And to me, one of the best finds that's come out of Nevada recently. Um, this material runs in a beautiful, um, kind of a limey to minty green. Desert Bloom is a beautiful high-grade natural verisite from America, and it comes in a beautiful mint to limey green. But what it's really known for is this minty lime green with this wide web like this. And, and a lot of times uh, my customers seem to like when I cut a stone that just has one or two, maybe three lines of matrix in it, and then these big, beautiful pools of jelly, glassy verisite. And, um, this is what's considered to be the high-grade material from the Desert Bloom. And um, this material, they found nuggets larger than basketballs there. Only a couple of them, but they found them that big. And those nuggets weren't just a bunch of fluff. They were solid, very solid, with this beautiful spider web like this. And um, it is kind of rare, because uh, a lot of times it'll produce kind of a more cloudy, kind of a, a more muddled matrix or a real tight spider web and um and there's three mines there the big mine is actually called vista grande uh verisite mine that's what the actual claims called and then there's three deposits there there's the desert bloom and then there's the emerald city and then the vista grande but the most popular of all these is the desert bloom and so the desert bloom let me show you a few more samples here i'm just going to get them a little bit wet so you can kind of see hold on let me get this wet and then i'll rub them but this is just some beautiful stuff i wanted to show you my favorite of the desert bloom anyway and uh here we go there's a little nice little grouping of it okay and as you can see it has this beautiful brown matrix and then also the black and this brown once it's polished will kind of come up to a nice kind of a tan color almost reminds me of old school Damali and I don't mean the the high-grade Damali turquoise that you're seeing today uh, that came out of Tony Cotner's private collection but the actual Damali that everyone that made Damali famous which was the Damali Verisite and now um, let me show you a little bit about this the Emerald City this is the Emerald City and then the Vista Grande so this is here's a small a small web desert bloom but this material here is what's called um, the Emerald City, okay? And then this piece here is coming out of the Vista Grande. And so it, it almost has a Newlander-ish type look. And this is these are just some examples of the material coming out of these, these mines, um, but kind of what I like out of it, okay? Now let me, and this is a recent claim, so who knows what'll come out. So let me show you some cut material. Here's a be some beautiful cabochons. This is out of all desert bloom. And then some nice jewelry that we've made out of the material. Okay, look at this beauty. This has got the black and the tan. And then here's one more. So to me, some really exciting, fairly new material coming out of Nevada. And uh, I'm really, really excited about the Desert Bloom. So I hope that's a li nice little brief um, description of the material. And if you'd like to learn more, I have the backstory that uh, Rodney's provided me with on DurangoSilver.com in our blog. You just simply go to our blog and type in Desert Bloom, and there's a whole story. It has pictures of Rodney and Alan mining and all that. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, follow us for more, and I, I intend to do all kind of videos on the different turquoise and verisite mines, as well as how to make jewelry, and all about turquoise and silver jewelry. Thank you again. Have a great one.